DW's Garage here again. Today I'm going to do just a slight little mod on my car. Uh, overflow tank on the car for the antifreeze. It's a clear tank. You can go online, you can buy covers and everything to hide them. A lot of people have uh, been painting them or whatever else. Uh, today uh, I'm going to try that. Um, I'm going to remove my tank and I'm actually going to do a temporary peel coat on it because I just want to see if I like it. It actually kind of matches the color of the car real well. So let's make it happen. Okay guys, uh, looks like I just got a couple of uh, 10 millimeter boats and uh, we've got our overflow hose comes off. Also the other hose comes off. Yes, let's see. Can't just get these. Removed here. Yeah, it moves okay. Scratch my paint up. That's a short sucker. Just enough to spit it down into the car if it wants to, I guess. There's one. hose down there. What does that go to? Huh. Okay, got another hose on the very, very bottom of the uh, tank. I was hoping to actually get this out without having to drain it. I guess that ain't gonna happen. Okay guys, looks like I'm going to have to take a little bit more out, um, just so I can uh, get down to the uh, lower uh, hose on the bottom of the uh, overflow tank. So I've already backed out this uh, hose line right here that also goes into the filter. I've already loosened up the uh, band on the uh, air filter, so we're just I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can't. There we go. Mopar. Okay, that's removed. That'll go out. Uh, let's see here. I have to disconnect my shaker lights. Let's see, we've got one, two bolts there. Remove this. I don't know if I actually have to remove that or not. Maybe I do. We'll see. There's that. That bolt out. What is that? Ah, of course, that's a 10. Okay, let me see. That's 
spinning awfully freely. Okay, it's loose. That didn't take much, so I'm kind of worried as to why that was so loose. Okay. These cables have push in pins. Take a small flat blade screwdriver, get in here, and you can pop the the center insert out, which will should allow you to release them. There we go, and they pop right out. Be careful not to pull them all the way out, or you might lose the center piece out of it. But this dislodges your uh, air intake from your shaker, which comes down to the air box. Okay, so that's that's loose. That's loose. Just have to take that loose. Where the heck is the band for that? All the way down in there? Man! There's some things that they didn't do in the best places, I hope. that. Don't need that off. Okay. There we go. Air intake box is out. Okay. Air intake box is out. Now, as you guys can see, there's this lower rad hose. Right down here on the bottom. It has to come off. Not too happy about that. So I got it going in behind air conditioning lines. So it's not like I can just raise this up, tip it upside down, plug the smaller holes. I can't do any of that. I'm going to have to dislodge that down there. Dang it. Okay. Just a little bit harder. Not that it can't be done. All right. Now let me see if I can think about how to do this. Maybe siphon the uh, overflow tank so nothing drains all over my car. Possibly. That might be a possibility. Let me see what I can dig up and see if I can't siphon this out. Okay, guys. Um, Rolled my car back out of the uh, garage because I'm going to get ready to paint that or paint it with a peelable coat. Um, as you can see, I uh, got a uh, welding pair of vice grips right here because they're big and wide. So I just crimped off the hose so no radiator fluid back flushes out of that. Um, basically, all I did was I pulled it off real quick with a rag and put the rag underneath of it and caught most of the... Uh, antifreeze that 
did try to leak out so I was able to get it out with making a giant mess as you can see um, had just this like small thing lying in my garage that I used for chemicals every now and then and caught a little bit of antifreeze in that um, but come back in here put most of the antifreeze in an empty antifreeze jug that I had anyways uh, I've taken the overflow tank I've cleaned it off with um, basically alcohol an alcohol cleaner that I have right there in a spray bottle mixed up and I've taped off the cap uh, top overflow as well as on the cap and the bottom and actually I taped off a window on the side which is the fill window so that way you know you can still tell <laughs> so we'll do that and I'll set up a spot in here where I can start getting this bad boy painted and this is actually what I'm going to be using right here it's called Rust-Oleum Peel Coat Custom Shop it's uh, this particular color is called brilliant blue and it actually matches the car really really well so and of course like I said it's peelable that's the reason why I'm doing this because I wasn't sure what way I really wanted to go on my car I didn't know if I wanted to spray paint it like some people have done or just exactly what so this is something that can be temporary let me know and maybe I'll just leave it on there if it'll last long enough and if I like it and it comes off then maybe maybe later I'll just actually paint it paint it um, but for now I'll try it and see if I like it see what works see if it don't it's supposed to be able to be used on plastics as well um, you're supposed to be able to paint this right on your car on the hood on the rims anything like that and then you can just peel it off later when you you know you get tired of it sick of it they've pretty much got you know Plasti dip sprays now that you can use on anything. So, but we'll see how this goes. Okay, here we go. Got it on a hook. Paint. Okay guys, got it all painted, uh, as you can see it's blue, um, see the little indicator on that end, didn't paint where the hose goes on, I'll take these off after I get it in, but let's try and get this uh, back in here and hooked back up as much as possible. That is unbelievable guys that that color matches perfect my gosh 
don't know if you guys can tell from that video, but this match is like identical. That brilliant blue in this uh, peelable uh, cover paint. It, it is B5 blue. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, we'll go with that anyways. And let me... in there without putting too much pressure on her. Okay, those are off. Okay, now where did I leave my players? I leave my players back in here, I did. where it was. Good, 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 good. Okay. Let me go ahead and just this this back in. This one kind of wants to cross it for some reason. Okay, so far so good. Take off this tape. Get the, uh, it's for the old. here perfecto okay now we're gonna take the stuff tape off first and put this on top Awesome. Right back down there. Put this on there. Okay. All 
I think that just that is perfect color match. Literally a perfect color match. That is B5 blue, guys. If anybody out there wants to uh, paint stuff like this with that overflow tank or possibly even your windshield washer fluid holder, either that or anything else, that brilliant blue paint, guys, matches B5 blue perfectly. All right. Got that back in. I guess we got to get that air box back in now. All right. See if I can do this without mucking up and everything. We're looking at the back of my head every time, huh, guys? Okay. Right back through. Okay. Okay, that's tightened back up. Okay, ground to ground, the hot. That back in there. See if I can't get that to go in there.
can that's tightened back up. That. Okay, let's see if we can get these push pins back in. Just push them back in, push that button back in. Secured. Oop. Pull it back out. There we go. And that's resecured. Okay. All that's back in. Okay, last thing left, air filter. Oh, that was a pain. I don't want that to slide off. Okay. back in. Okay. All secured back in. Okay, let's get some antifreeze and see if we can't get that in there. Okay, this is the same antifreeze I pulled out of it. And like I said, I didn't hardly I didn't hardly lose any when I ended up pulling it out. So not even enough to really soil the uh, rag that I was using, you know, so it was sopping wet or anything. So go guys didn't even take that long to dry I just had it hanging in my garage of course it's like 90 something <laughs> here where I'm at so spray painted it in the garage with the door shut so because there was a little bit of breeze didn't want to get any dirt or anything on it but uh, yeah I think it worked real well so until next time, guys, this is DW's Garage. Out of here.